race, everybody? The race started at 7.30, so I think it was at about quarter after seven, the rain stopped. Now, uh, I'll let you ask Joan who got that rain to stop right before the race started. I could just feel Katie saying, Mom, take a deep breath. It's all gonna work out, and it did. biggest, best crowd for the Purple Shoes Challenge. A lot of the runners came in to watch. The people were very enthusiastic about the race, and it's just, it continues to grow every year and get better every year. You know, you think it can't be better than it was the year before, but this year it is even better. Um, we have a group of incredible athletes who really, some of them really trained this year for the event. We've seen some of these young people make real strides in their athleticism. Our volunteer group grew exponentially. We had crowds to cheer our athletes on, and all athletes love to have an audience. And we want people who don't have a chance to enjoy the feeling of being an athlete, to have that opportunity to train, to uh, push themselves, and to improve their athletic performance. You know, I've watched the people struggle up Heartbreak Hill and I've done it myself but to go in there and watch these kids work their way around that track was really really moving and just gave me goosebumps. Nobility is being better today than you were yesterday. And I think that that's exactly what we do here. It's noble in its cause to help people see their potential and reach their potential. Katie Spirit was definitely with us today, not only holding the rain off for our runners, but you could just, Katie would have loved being in the room for the Purple Shoes Challenge. It was, it was Katie personified, really. Yeah. Yeah.